Hmm. Well, you know what? We're going to do a quick challenge. We got another five minutes before our uh, next break. So. We're do XXX. XXXL. I'm assuming this is a single floor level with a bunch of bosses. Alright, if you haven't heard of Cobalt Streak or Northern Line, definitely check those two out. Premier players of the game. They make me look like a scrub. Which actually isn't that hard to do. Yeah, you've heard of Northern Lion. Yeah, he's Northern Lion's kind of uh, YouTube plus Twitch, and Cobalt Streak is, from what I've seen, more Twitch only. But as I was saying earlier, he's got like a current 120 win streak with Eden. And they're both pretty funny, actually. Both entertaining casters. <laughs> oh, about the 120 win streak? No, that's completely serious. Hundred and twenty and no deaths. He actually had a longer streak a while back, if I recall correctly. Yeah. I actually have, it on, have him uh, subscribe, or I'm subscribed to him on Twitch. You can actually go check that if you want to see him. In case you don't know how to spell his name. Yeah, it's insane. Like I said, Helm and Northern Lion are the two premier players of this game. Now what's interesting is I actually remember seeing something or reading something a while back that Edmund McMillan created an item uh, that was somehow related to Northern Lion. Oh yeah, he came close to 200 wins. I know that he was well over 150 at one point and had to restart. We only got one key. I've not come across an item room yet. Wondering if there are any on the XXX XXO challenge. I would hope so. I know a lot of these challenges don't have item rooms. So that would suck if this one didn't. There's one of those secret room dead things that look like an L, right? Um, I don't know. I haven't seen any NPCs that look like Northern Lion yet. Is that what was supposed to be related to him? Or actually, it could be one of the random um, multiplayer buddies. Because I remember he said that he added a, over a couple hundred new... 
I saw that coming. I wasn't able to get to the very bottom of the screen in time. He said he mentioned, or he mentioned that he added like a couple hundred new multiplayer babies. So maybe one of those is supposed to be based on Northern Lion. Are you seen it twice? Hmm. I need to be on the lookout for those then. I wonder if he based any more of those NPCs on people, though. I would love if he did one on Lethal Frag. This massive beard on an NPC. Maybe some ferrets running around him. Because I know that Lethal Frag has put in over a thousand hours into Isaac as well. If I'm not mistaken, he's actually had uh, Edmund McMillan on his cast once or twice. Could be mistaken on that. Okay, seriously, where am I supposed to be going on this XX, XXXL floor? I've not seen any item rooms. I've not seen any bosses. The laws of probability would state that if they were here, I would have found them by now. Ah, oh, well, here's a mini-boss, close enough. Not quite what I was after. Hey, just kill yourself, Lust. Clingy bitch. Great batteries! I don't have any use items to use them with. I'm out of bombs, too, so... Mm. That's not good. I've got no way to kill a boss. I've got no damage, no bombs, no DPS at all. More batteries for my non-existent use item. Thanks, game. Where have I not been? Hey, money! Now I can go to the item or the shop. No, I'm gonna go to the shop. Pfft, nothing up there. Hopefully, there's something that I can get in there that might be of use. Anything, really. Speed up, damage up, fire rate up. Mm. <clears throat> Alright, catch you later, Dark Shadow. Have fun with uh, Hyper Dimension. I know that they just recently released a uh, new one on Steam today. Hmm. You know, I might as well get the blue candle. Because quite frankly, that's my only DPS at this moment. It's not the best, but it's something. Actually, I can get the Soul Heart, too, I guess. Oh, yeah, they do they totally launched it today. It was on the Steam front page. Well, if it's on, if it's on Steam, then maybe they did a pre-release, or the pre-order, but it was on the front page this morning. Episode 3.
Hyper Dimension 3 with all the plot you've known and loved from before. I'm starting to think there are no item rooms on this XXX XXXL floor. <laughs> that excited about the series, huh? Well, here's an item that I can't get to because I can't fly. You're really sticking to me, game. This is payment, isn't it? This is payment for my overpowered brimstone run last time, wasn't it? I knew I was going to pay for that eventually. Sometimes you gotta pay it forward. Get an awesome run, then you get screwed. No damage. There we go. Oh my god, how many floors have I gone through to finally find a single item room? Si no, seriously. How many rooms is that? Take a quick look. And I finally find my item room right here. That is RNG at work. It's not a good item, but hey, it's an item, finally. I was wondering if I was ever going to come across one. I was honestly beginning to worry that the XL the 6XL floors, the challenge, was one of the challenges that didn't give you items. Yeah, over 20 at least. Damn flame, stop bouncing. If I kept up a little longer, it would have been a whole number. Oh, wrong place to shoot it. Stop running. I just want to flame you in a nice way. Okay, so my previous theory about X 6XL floors would be a huge room with a bunch of bosses and that'd be it. it was wrong. It's just a bunch of Huge rooms, huge floors, with single bosses. We still have to make it to Mom. This is not the five minutes I was expecting. I was thinking, you know, you know, this might be a quick challenge, I can burn it real quick, then I can take my hourly break. Nah. Nah, it didn't happen. This looks like it might take me another 30 minutes to do. It was the worst challenge to do when I was ready to take a break. And I'm not, I'm not going to take a break in the middle of a challenge or the middle of a run. Nah, not me. We're going to go through this, and then once we're done, then I'll take my break. I'm stubborn like that. I started this. I'm going to finish it. Boss rush on 6XL. Good luck. That first floor took me 12 minutes. It took me 12 minutes to find the boss room, but it took me 12 minutes. If we go at this rate, trying to get all the way down to Womb 2, that's going to take a while. At 10 minutes a floor, Ten floors. That's a hundred minutes. That's about two hours. We're looking at a two-hour run. Why did I choose this challenge? Okay. Hold on. Okay. I, that just came to me. This is probably going to end up being a two-hour challenge. Get that mini-map off the screen. I'm not happy. 
I wanted my brick. I wanted to eat. I have not eaten yet today. And I'm stubborn. I'm not taking my break until I've done this. Thank you, Edmund McMillan, for giving me so much to do. The, ga the only game I'll ever need to play for the rest of my life, it seems like. When you thought Metal Gear Solid V had a lot to do? Nothing on this game. Dang, I'm gonna waste bombs. Poison Tears is a little bit better. I have to run through the other two games along with the third and 100% all of them before watching World Geo and maybe hanging out with a girlfriend. Long day ahead of you. Sounds like it. Wait, can you actually beat Neptunia in a single day? I thought it was one of those long RPGs. Aha, I learned my lesson about that room. Stay at the bottom. Fool me once, shame on you. Shame me twice, fuck you, Edmund McMillan. So much profanity tonight. What does this game bring out in me? Normally I'm the PG dude. Not really. I mean, I try to keep my, my uh, Let's Plays fairly family-friendly. Thinking in it, I do a lot of family-friendly games. Ratchet and Clank, Sly, Little King Story, Munchables. That was an M-rated game. Some foul language is bound to occur. Oh yeah, I have Pyromaniac, yeah. Well, don't I still get hurt by other people's flames? I thought it was only mine that I was safe from. Oh, Sly 1 would be a great game to speedrun. Whoops. The good thing about this 6XL floor is that means I'm getting a lot of keys, a lot of bombs. So I can actually expend them on these golden chests without too much worry. Oh, you've actually speedrun, or speedran? I think that's the proper term for that. Speedran, Sly 1? Nice. I've never really gotten into speedrunning myself. I try and take my time and enjoy the game. It seems like it would take too much time to try and master it to the point of speedrunning. Oh, 100% speedrun too, nice. Now, those are the type of speedruns I really appreciate. The ones who actually take the time to do everything in a game as opposed to just, oh, here's a cheat or an exploit I can use that allows me to jump from the starting point of the game all the way to the final castle. Dark Souls 2. Those I, I'm not really a fan of. I don't like when people exploit games like that. It feels like it's breaking it in a bad way. Another one is uh, Mario 64, where you can do something and skip like half the game. Or Oca Ocarina of Time, where you do something and it sends you all the way to the final castle. Or Final Fantasy 7, where you do something, I don't know what it is, but it has to do with using multiple saves. And you can cheat the game into thinking that you are a certain level that you're really not. Pretty sure you can, yeah. There's a cheat where he, there's a uh, a stone wall that if you can get yourself on, you can skip that one area where you need to be or to to kill a certain amount of enemies. I haven't heard about Dishonored. I'm sure there's an exploit for Dishonored that allows you to skip a lot too. 
Speaking of which, I would love to play Dishonored. I got it on the 360. It's kind of in my backlog. Mm. I don't know, those just aren't my type where you do the any percent glitch speedruns. I mean, to a certain degree, you can appreciate them because people have found those. But I kind of like the Mario speedruns where you got pixel, per uh, pixel perfect runs where you know exactly how to increase your frame rate. Or not frame rate, but your. There's. The latest speedrun for Mario 1 was like 0 0.01 seconds. And that the person who actually did it said something along the lines of. They know they can increase their speed because they spent an extra one frame. One frame on a certain spot when they landed. That's the type of speedruns I love. Hey, item room, finally, in under 20 minutes this time, too. Ain't that something? Yeah, I don't really glitch either. I mean, I might end up um, finding shortcuts in the game. I kind of did that with Sly 1, where I found a way to just bypass a lot of stuff, but it wasn't a glitch or an exploit, it's just a well-timed jump. Jumping from, uh, I think it was the billboard, all the way to the exit. I actually had two shortcuts in Sly 1. There was another one where I stood on a bookcase and was able to skip a bunch of lasers. No, was it a bookcase that I stood on, or was it a barrel? Either way, there was... It wasn't even a huge shortcut, just maybe by... 30, 40 seconds. Hey, boss time! This one, t uh, 21 minutes. Well, you know what? That's still less than it took me on the first floor. I love me my blue candle. Combo with the black candle, and I never have to worry about the damn curses. Oh my god. Imagine a curse of the lost on the 6XL floor, where you don't know where you're going, the entire map is question mark. You're completely lost. That would be terrible. Oh my god, I'm so glad I got the black candle now. That way I don't have to worry about getting that curse. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not going all the way back there, screw it. Mm. Yeah, it's fine. Next floor. Hey, my cat woke up. She's been asleep the entire time I've been streaming. Like, right behind me.
No! You're supposed to be my friend! Work with me, leeches! Go after the evil black leech! He's our mortal enemy! He has killed me dozens and dozens of times. Well, I think he's only killed me like five times a night. Mm, I wouldn't say I'm a metalhead. I mean, I like the occasional metal. I like uh, Ozzy Osbourne, Metallica. Uh, a bunch of names for bands I can't think of off the top of my head. There's a, there's quite a few I like, but I think lately I've been more into uh, indie folk. Or Irish folk. A bunch of folk, really. Irish indie. Okay, now that guy's not cool. He got flies covering him. I'm not going through there yet. Those red fires will hit me. They seem to be increased in their fire rate recently. Used to take them like 10 seconds before they'd fire. Now they're doing it like 2 or 3. Oh! Uh, Jack 2. I thought you meant an actual metalhead, like metal music. Oh no, I'm the... Horseless headman tonight. You know, Ichabod Crane, he is a headless horseman. I'm the horseless headman. I'm the head that is supposed to go on the headless horseman. Dollar bill, store credit. If I can find a good store. I would like to do a, a stream of Jack 2 one day. Not a Let's Play, a stream. Because I think that's the type of game that's better suited for a, uh, a Twitch livestream than a Let's Play. Mostly because it's kind of slower paced. Screw it, we're going to the moon. Item room, secret room. For some reason I keep getting uh, the stars and... The moon confused. One sends you to the item room, one sends you to the secret room. Well, talking about store. Hmm. Well, you know, there's a brand new item for zero coins, thanks to this dollar bill. I think I'm gonna take my five finger discount on this blade. Vertical Razor. It's a use item. Now the Razor Blade damages you and deals damage to everyone in the room. Vertical Razor also has zero charge. I hope I don't regret... I'm... I'm I hope I do not regret doing this, but I'm going to encounter an enemy. Oh! Did that just... That creates a hole to the next floor. That's a shovel. That looks like the blue womb, too. Would that send me straight to the blue womb? That's not a shovel. That's that's a blue room instant access. Huh. Well, you know, that might be useful for future run runs when I have an overpowered build. Not doing it right now, though, when I have next to no d uh, DPS. But that's a cool looking item. 
and getting my my uh, oh, I can't think. My mind is turning into a blank. The candle back, blue candle. I'm not going to blue womb. I still got like eight more floors to do. But as I was saying, Jack 2 seems to be a lot slower pace and would be better suited for a live stream than actual YouTube. So I might one day actually do one for that game. That's a great thing about live streaming too. It opens my uh, opens me up to far far many more possibilities for what I can record and present to you guys. Like this, this is the type of game I probably would not do a let's play of because while it is RNG and random and different every single time you play it, it's still not a blind playthrough. I have experience, I have 100, 280 hours, not close to 290 now, but over 280 hours in the game I have experience, it's not that blind. I prefer my Let's Plays to be more first looks, kind of. And I guess to some degree this is a first look, it's a first look at Afterbirth, but not the same. Okay, we found the boss, we need to find the item room. Did I ever play Thief? No, I, I've, I saw a uh, live stream of Thief. Haven't played it myself, yo. I heard that it's nowhere near as good as Dishonored, though. The Dishonored essentially became what Thief should have been. Yeah, because that's the closest thing to Dishonored, yeah. Mysterious paper has no point anymore. People have broken the code, man! Wow, taking way too many hits here. Can't even blame chat on that one. I'm looking straight at the game. Oh, a little bit close. There you go. There's the item room, finally. Ooh! No! Not guillotine. No, 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 Good god, I hate the guillotine. That is like a disembodied head. It is... it's kind of like playing Lilith. Really screws you up. I don't know where I'm aiming half the time. I have not mastered the guillotine. I don't think I ever will. It chops off your head. And then you just... Walk around as a head. And you shoot with, from the head when your body's detached.
Well, it's kind of like Lilith, except for the fact that Lilith uses her minion to shoot. The uh, guillotine has your body separate from your head. I played Lilith a little bit earlier tonight. Oh, yeah. Uh, clever. It would be suited for how I am dressed right now. But I, pref I much prefer the size. I think they suit me a lot better. And the fact that I it's an item I actually like. Health up. Fine. Lilith is a helm in drag. You know what I mean. Well, it's the same way that you call Eden a her, or, um... What's the other female character? Maggie. Maggie a her. Yeah, most of the characters do have a Halloween feel. That's the vibe of Isaac. Thirty-four minutes, and we're only at Caves 2. At least we're doing better than ten minutes of floor. Slightly. I totally was not expecting this to go more than five minutes. You know what? I prefer that. Oh yeah, Lilith is a new character for this game. Oh my god, I'm getting killed. Spiders! God, no spiders! Why has it gotta be spiders? I don't wanna die to spiders! I also don't wanna die at all, but preferably not to spiders. You know what spiders do when they kill you. They nest inside your body. Your body becomes a hive and the nest for all their little babies. I don't want that for Isaac. I don't want that for me. I don't want that for anyone. Just keep the spiders the F away from me. God. Yeah. I mean, I finally got the damage I needed with these scythes. I don't want to die yet. I've spent too long on this run to die. Let's put it that way. I've invested way too much! Mmm, yeah, use it now. I'm trying to keep the Will of Fortune until I get to maybe a secret room, which I highly doubt I'm ever gonna find. Or a uh, devil room, that way I can spawn that, hopefully get some better items. Hardest part of any game is the spiders. Not necessarily true. I don't think there's any spiders in Dark Souls, are there? No, actually, you know what? There are. There's, um... Oh, uh, what's her name? The Queen something. Full health, there we go. Yeah, I'll keep the full health pill. Screw the Will of Fortune. Actually, no, I'll drop it here. Pretty fly! Pretty fly! Oh, waiting, yeah. Earthbound is a classic example of that three minute wait. Not the Are You a Wizard pill! No, well, thankfully it doesn't last that long, but still. I'm gonna save the rest of my money for a shop. Go away. Go away, wizard. No one wants you. No wizard. Bad wizard. King Arthur's not here today. Go away. I don't want to be Merlin. 
Um, not Merlin. Why don't you go away yet? There we go, thank you. Uh, I was beginning to worry if the, if the time on the Arya Wizard Pill had been extended. That's the thing you always gotta worry about with a brand new patch or brand new update. What all has been changed that you know? Well, I know that this thing used to act in this way, but now it doesn't. Now I have to learn an entirely new effect. But I've got so much time invested in learning this one way. <laughs> you know, I just recently saw that anime, Seven Deadly Sins. I think I just finished it like last week, or two weeks ago. Pretty good. Makes me really want season two. You know what would be a great item right now? The Devil Baker. There are tons of hearts everywhere. He could pick some up, give me some soul hearts, give me some items. Oh, is it actually confirmed for next year? Nice. There's a couple of good animes coming out next year. There's uh, Seven Deadly Sins 2, I guess now. Also, Attack on Titan, the second season's coming out. I think there was one other thing coming out next year I was looking forward to. Okay, seriously, where's my item room? I know where the boss is at, I need my item room. I don't feel like clearing another 20 floor or 20 rooms before I get to it. Look like that's gonna be the case. Oh yeah, they're totally doing a second season of Attack on Titan. And that has been confirmed for next year. I saw random tears coming out. I was like, wait, who's shooting those? I thought I killed everything in the room. Damn mimic, baby. Got tons of keys, tons of bombs, tons of money. Need my item room still. Come on, game. Another thing that would be great in addition to the Devil Beggar, a map. A map would be fantastic. I wish I had a map. Why can't I have a map? Game, can I have a map? Please? I'll pay 30 coins for... I'll, I'll double the price of a normal map of 15 coins. I'll pay you 30 for a map. Just give me a map. Favorite of the or favorite of the sins has got to be greed. I mean, his ability to pretty much not die ever is awesome. Also, he's got a cool design. I like his punk look. I'm trying to think of a line for that. Um. This is a map! Can we say... Map? Yay! You said map! Actually, wouldn't she... Dora the Explorer, she would want you to say it in Spanish, wouldn't she? I don't know the Spanish word for map, so... 
Mapo! Everyone say Mapo! I don't speak Spanish, I'm sorry. El Map! Uh, that's fine. Actually, there there was a couple of batteries on this floor, weren't there? I'm pretty sure there were some batteries, so I'm gonna go back to this floor, explore a bit. Question is, where exactly were those batteries? There's you, son of a bitch. Why would you put the batteries right there? I can't get to them when they're there. Okay, there are some more batteries. There's one in the bottom left. Another battery... This game's trolling me. Any more batteries on this floor? No. There's an item room I still haven't found. Then there's the slot machine I haven't used. We're gonna do that. We're gonna play with the slot machine. Hopefully we can get something out of there. With 33 coins. Money, yeah. Money is fine. I could use flight in order to get the damn batteries. What do I need money for? I, I don't need no money right now. And the game giveth and the game taketh away. Oh, here's a good item, and then here's some troll. Game's being a jerk, man. Pay up! Not defeat, it's just... I'm down to 4 health, and I have this good item. That would be great with all the batteries on this floor. Problem is, I can't touch a single one. Wrong one. They're just... So close! So far. It's heartbreaking. And tears up. Actually, that's a good combo with the scythes. I don't need hearts! Enough! Te no, no more telepills. I'm using up all my money on this damn slot machine, it's not paying out. 48 hour inner- well, it's giving me a couple of good soul hearts, I guess. That's probably good enough. I mean, the main reason I was doing that was so- well, there we go. The main reason I wanted those batteries was so I could get some extra evil hearts, but soul hearts work just as well. Pick up my candle, though, because I was not bringing that book down to the next floor. I'm keeping my candle. So if I was going to do it, I had to be on this floor. Dank! So dank! Look at them dank depths! Cornfly! Now I got the bomb, so... Maybe you'll have a soul heart. You do! What a precious little blue, s blue fire. Oh, so many soul hearts. I'm almost maxed out now. Now I'm no longer defeated after having to give up that book. Because I now have what I was aiming for. Nearly maxed out health. So I have not invested over 45 minutes into this run to die. Oh no, I haven't actually seen the manga, just the anime. 
I know they're planning on making an OVA for the anime, though. Actually, a couple of OVAs, if I'm not mistaken. There's still a lot of anime on my backlog that I kind of want to watch. One that's actually fairly old that I'm kind of wanting to watch fairly soon is Soul Leader. I wouldn't even mind watching the dub to that. Normally I prefer uh, Japanese dubs with the English subs, but uh, Vic Mignogna. Big fan of his. He did a great job on Oron High School Host Club, Full Metal Alchemist. So I wouldn't mind seeing his work on Soul Eater. There are the batteries I could have used on the last floor. Oh, yeah, I definitely use my anime list. Same profile everywhere, authentic Zack. Now, I'm almost tempted to say screw the item room and just go straight to the boss and go to the next floor. Because I got a good build going on right now with the blue candle and the size. It's not the best build, but it's capable. And it prevents me from having to spend another 30 minutes looking for the item room. You know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I hate to skip out on the the item room, but I'm gonna go down to the next floor. Why you do this game? Why give me choice of brimstone? I got scythes. Scythes are awesome, but brimstone. The question is, the fire rate. I'm gonna do it. Oh my god, it's hard to see. Like, I cannot see when my character is flashing. It's very hard to spot with that little skull mask of his. I really hope I don't regret that decision. Oh, you like my list? Yeah, I don't really have anything set on my to-watch list, though. Uh, I actually have that on a separate notepad. One of the weirdest things I've ever seen, though, is, um... Oh, what was it? Oh, man, I wish I could remember what it was. It was t a typical shonen action anime. With one character having the ability to... Or the main character having the ability to steal or use anyone else's ability. And the ending theme was extremely off of what it normally is. A lot of fan service. Oh, I'm having a hard time remembering what it was. It's somewhere on my my anime list. Oh, hey, look! Item room right from the start. That's a first. Didn't even have to spend 20 minutes looking for it. I guess it pays off not look... Not... X-ray specs. Find all the secret rooms. Oh, you know which one I'm talking about? Okay. As long as you know, because I cannot remember for the life of me. Yeah, that's great. We're going to the secret room. We have the x-ray goggles. We would have been able to find it anyways, but I don't feel like spending a long time looking for where it could be.
You see Future Diary. Now, which anime was Future Diary? I might have known it by a different name. Oh yeah, that one, okay. Miri Niki. That was a long time ago that I watched that. I was watching a lot of death game animes around that time. Batum. Miri Niki. Yeah. Now, Batum is one I would love to see a second season for. room. We're already coming up close to my next break. I've already had to miss one because of this damn challenge run. I don't want to miss another one. I need to stretch. I want to get something to eat. But I'm not going to stop this run for a break. Hey, there's a super secret room. These goggles, gotta love them. Now, really, what would be in the super secret room? Probably nothing of interest. Pills, you know, small, smaller target, sure. Fuck you, wizard pill. Telepills, full health. I'll take that one. I don't even want to experiment the wizard pill with the brimstone. I assume it might be an interesting combo. Ain't doing it. I don't want my shots going off at a diagonal. Where? Maybe it might be the top left, actually. That or over here. There's still a lot of places that boss room could be. Okay, it's got to be the top left. That's really the only thing left with a straight shot. Come on, be right. Nope. Wrong again. Why can't I be right once in a while? Wait, did I get the item? Yeah, I got the item room here. I didn't look colored in there. I appreciate the fact that you gave me brimstone and scythes and good items. 
But I kind of want the exit, too. I'm, I'm feeling greedy. I know it's greedy of me to want so much. When the entire point of the XX... 6XL floors... Is to make you work for it. Going through a lot of different rooms, but I'm not... Really feeling the challenge as much as... Redundancy. Repetitiveness. Enemies aren't hitting me. I've stayed at max health for a while now. Where the hell are you? Have you even been up here to the shop that I couldn't remember that I was up? Oh my god. Sure, double bombs. I got more than enough, but why not more? You like bombs? I like bombs. Let's have more bombs. Oh, been that way. The hell? It has to be... If it's not here, I don't know where else it could be. I've explored almost the entire map. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, doing those diagonal movements over the, uh, the spikes is a little bit harder on controller than it is on keyboard and mouse. Really? Not even here, boss room. Really? Okay. I'm, I'm cool with that. Which means... The one room... The very last room that I have not looked at... Is gonna have the boss. You know how frustr frustrating that is? Especially considering that I was there a few minutes ago before I used that telepill. Oh my god, it's the first room after it too. Fine, go ahead. That's actually a good item. Especially with the amount of hearts I have. Oh, that's annoying. That is just evil game. The fact that you would do that to me. Telepilled right away from the boss room. Made me work my way and cross the entire floor. Just to find it again. Iron Jesus is tired of carrying me. You know what? As much as Little Broomy would be nice, I don't think I'm willing to drop another two hearts for him. Well... I'd be able to kill anyone. I pretty much can now, but... Screw it, I'm taking it. I got enough, enough health. Double Brimstone now. I don't think I'll regret that decision at all. Normally I try to prevent doing too many double deals, but at what? Nine health? I think I'm good. I ain't taking no random pills either. There might be a health down pill in there. Actually, you know what? Health down pill would be turned into a health up, wouldn't it? Because now I've got one health. Or one red heart. Okay, we'll take it. What's the worst that could happen? Health up? Okay, it was a health down pill that got transformed into health up. Sometimes it pays to have one health. I don't want tougher enemies. Don't need a purple heart. Ghost Baby's working wonders right now. Ow. Crap. Crap. 
Didn't mean to walk into that. Okay, I'll take the extra health. Now, I'm supposed to be having my next break right now, or really, I was supposed to have my next break an hour ago. Two break times have passed, and I'm still on the same run. An hour and one minute. Go up there. Jeez, that was a little bit too close for comfort. Now, since there's no more item rooms on this run, now that we're in the womb, I can just go straight for the boss if I can find him. Again, this is where a map would come in handy. Now, this is the type of thing I would love to see in a speedrun, or a, a league race. Do the XX, the 6X floor. Do I want a Pac-Man pill? You know what, we're gonna keep the Pac-Man pill. Because full health would only heal me one. I only got one or two red hearts. Pac-Man pill seems a better item to keep. There's the boss room! Nice! Oh, luck is favoring me right now. Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Jump, 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 jump! Waka, 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 waka! Oh, baby, baby, baby! Increase fire rate, we can spam out brimstone. Double brimstone! Mmm! Feel it! Eat it! One more floor. One more. One more and we can take our break. I'm not skipping this one. Maybe a little bit delayed, but I'm not skipping this one. I got a hamburger in the fridge that I cooked earlier that is waiting for me. Okay, didn't see the eyeball. All these batteries, they're nice and all, but... Ain't got the type of charge item that it needs. Blue Candle don't need your batteries. Blue Candle is powered by love. Why am I picking up coins? I don't need coins no more. Nope. Screw it, I'm just gonna sneak out of here. I'm not bothering fighting enemies if I don't have to. Again, more money. I'm on the last floor. Right now, it's all about getting to mom and kicking her butt. Stabbing her in the toe with my knife. There she is. Oh my god, we actually made it in, like, record time. Dude, these last two floors... The womb has been so favorable for me. Oh, I'm so thankful. Stab mom right in her heart. Her uncaring and evil little heart. Catch mom's heart on fire. Burn her to... L well... I'm gonna say burn her to death, but that's kinda mean. You don't wanna burn your mother to death, even if she does try to kill you. Just stab her in the heart a little bit. Teach her a lesson.
There we go. Oh! X, 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 XL floor beaten. Well, why is it doing that? I've already unlocked a few of those. Okay, that's weird. I guess it's doing that because I've now beaten Mom, even though I've beat her before. That's weird how it did that. It didn't pop up before when I beat the chest, but it does now when I beat Mom, which actually came before the chest. I'm not even going to worry about it. Whatever. Look, it's been about an hour. It's been two hours, actually, since our last break, so I'm going to take one. This might be a little bit longer than the last one that we took two hours ago, because I'm going to get something to eat this time. So, I will see you in maybe about five minutes or more, maybe a little bit longer, and we will be back with more of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. See you in a bit.